Microsoft recently announced that they're going to be shutting down Mixer, so people like myself who have been live streaming on Mixer are now going to have to find a different website to stream on. Fortunately, I already have a Twitch account, so I can just stream on there. But I have links on YouTube on my live streams that say, follow me on Mixer. Those links aren't of any use to me now because I need them to actually say, follow me on twitch.tv slash Aaron Rutten. So rather than having to go through and find all of those videos and change them one at a time, is there a way that I can maybe bulk edit to change them all automatically? Well, yes, there is. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Plus, I'm gonna share a tip that will keep you from having to deal with this later by creating your own special branded links that don't have to change, even if the streaming service you use does. So I'm gonna be performing a bulk edit using TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy integrates with YouTube and it can allow you to do bulk edits to your descriptions, titles, thumbnails, and it has lots of other really handy features. This video is not sponsored by TubeBuddy, but I do have an affiliate link in the description of this video that earns commission, but you can use it to sign up for TubeBuddy if you're interested in this. So from here on out, I'm assuming that you have TubeBuddy installed and ready to go. You'll wanna to go to your channel videos and up here at the top under bulk meta actions, we have titles and descriptions. We'll click on that. Then under action, I wanna choose the appropriate action. So right now I'm gonna choose find text and I'm going to enter my mixer address so that I can find any video that has this particular string of text in the description of the video. Now you can search for titles as well. I'm just gonna leave descriptions checked and I'll click on continue and I can search through all of my videos or just my most recent 50 videos, which will be faster. It may take a while to load all of your videos if you have a lot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do all of my videos. And here is a list of my videos showing which videos have this particular string of text in the description and which do not. Now I can filter this list and I can show all videos or just public videos. And I can also preview that video by clicking on the link and I can see that this video has that string of text, but it also says a multi-streaming on, and then it has the link. So I wanna go ahead and just copy all of that because that's what I wanna remove and replace with something else. So I'm gonna go back to my bulk find replace and go back a few steps here. And I'm going to go ahead and just paste in that new string of text. And I'll change the action from find text to find and replace text so that we can replace it with something else. Now I can enter the string of text that I want to replace it with, which will be the address to my Twitch channel. And then I can go ahead and just click on continue. And now I'll get a list of the videos that have that particular string of text, including the multi-streaming part. Now it would be good to review the list of videos that it's selected just to make sure that you're not selecting something that you don't intend to bulk edit. This isn't very many videos, so I'll click on continue. I'll confirm that yes, I do want to do that and then click on start and it's going to perform the bulk edit. It's gonna automatically go through each of these videos and replace that string of text. It's wonderful. Now, once that's completed, you'll be able to see which videos have been processed. Now, just to be thorough, I wanna go back to find text and I wanna run one more search for my mixer address just to make sure that I don't have it included in a different string of text that I phrased differently. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put in mixer.com slash Aaron Rutten and I'll search for the videos that have that in it and there's still two videos left. So I'll preview each of those to see what the string of text is. In this case, this is a link to a co-stream that I did. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that link up. I don't wanna accidentally remove that. But let's take a look at this other one. And this one says, follow me on Mixer. So it's phrased differently. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and just double check to make sure that I got all of those links. For example sake, I'm gonna show you how to just delete this string of text. Cause let's say you don't actually wanna replace it. You just wanna remove it. What we'll wanna do is we'll wanna go back and under action, we'll change this to remove slash delete text. Now I wanna go ahead and just remove that whole string of text, follow me on mixer, etc. Then I can also remove the line breaks after and the blank line after as well, just to tidy things up. I'll go ahead and click on continue to get that video. It's only one video, so it's kind of silly to bulk edit this, but again, it's for example sake, you might have more than one video. And I'll go ahead and just select that, make sure it gets processed and it will remove that string of text. Now, once it's finished, you will wanna look and make sure that it's actually processed the video in a way that you're happy with. You can do that with the link here. Now, in addition to changing my Mixer links to Twitch, I also removed my Twitter and Instagram links because I'm no longer using those social media services. This bulk editing feature is incredibly useful. And as I mentioned earlier, TubeBuddy offers a lot of other features that you might find useful as well. Now, bulk editing is a great way to deal with a lot of links that you have to change. But rather than having to change links, 
what you could do is you could create your own branded links. That way, if something changes, like the platform you're streaming on, that branded link can stay the same. You can go in and edit that branded link and have it route to a different address. I use branded links for my business and I find them incredibly useful. The website that I use is Rebrandly. This is not sponsored by Rebrandly, but let's just go ahead and take a look at how you could use this. So I could create a new link. Right now we could have it go to twitch.tv slash Aaron Rutten, and we can give the link a tag called streaming. Now if we click on create link, anytime somebody goes to aaronrutten.link slash streaming, then we're going to go to my Twitch channel. But let's say that Twitch shuts down and now I need to find somewhere else to live stream. Rather than having to go through and bulk edit all of my links, what I can do is go to mixer.com slash Aaron Rutten. It's back from the dead. We'll go to save. And now if I visit that branded link again, it's taking me to this new address. So as you can see, the advantage to using this branded link is that I can change where the link routes to if I ever need to do that. So there you go. That was a tutorial showing you how to bulk edit links and create branded links. If you found this information helpful, click that like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.